Oh, welcome back to the channel. This is Boily Mac from BMAC Vags, and today we're going to be doing an oil and air filter service on your VW Golf TDI or anything with a T2 litre TDI engine. This is a Mark 6 Golf and it's going to be really easy to be fair. So we just removed the engine cover. As you can see, it's just held on a couple grommets, no screws, just lift up, pull up, and it comes off. Now, the method of that we're going to use today is um, going to be oil extraction via the dipstick so you pull out the dipstick hole and you use an oil extractor or a fluid extractor or an oil pump there's a few different options but i find this one the best and the least amount of maintenance so you put the extraction hose in the bottom of the pipe and you pull it a little bit up off the floor the sump once you fill the bottom once you've done that it's just about pumping the extractor to to, to bring all the oil out now, it's good to have it warmed up a little bit, the car previously, you know, five minute drive or whatever, just so that the oil is a bit more fluid and uh, less viscous. So yeah, there you go. You can just see it filling up in there. It's a really, really good thing. It, it'll earn your money back straight away. And this takes the back breaking work of laying down under the car. So the link is going to be in the description where to get one of these or something similar. So just have a look down there. Save yourself an absolute fortune and effort. So here we go, we just see it extracts in there. And it's really easy, it really is simple. You don't have to lay down on the floor. So if you're older, you've got knee problems, it's not a problem. So as you can see, you're gonna need a 32 mil socket to undo your oil filter housing. There's a closer picture of it there. I did have to do it afterwards. And you've got this solenoid here, which needs to be removed out of the way. It just, it just, just shifted to the side and um, you don't even have to unplug it. So no codes. Once you've done that, you'll be able to gain access to the oil filter housing cap. And it's just it's just simple and it just undo it, take your time. Remember it's plastic. So if you get the wrong side and run off the edges, you're in big trouble. Once you've undone it, it's just about shimmying it out. And you can see here, I tried to pull it out, but it caught the filter and pulled it out. Now you've got your filter out, it's a good time to compare your new one. And um, all your new ones should come with new seals and all the rest of it. I'm using a man filter. Um, they're, they're good quality filters, so yeah, it's pretty good. So they should come with a seal, which I'm changing right now. To be honest, that seal isn't that bad, but since it comes with a new one, just use the new one. The integrity is always gonna be better on a newer one. So once you've got the new um, uh, <laughs> washer, just put it on, to, on the oil filter housing and make sure there's a bit of an oil so you can get a seal on it. There's a two kind of, um, gaps there but just use the top one that it come out of and um, you should be able to see it pretty easily so yeah there you go just right on the top there and make sure it sits in that top line of a bit of oil so it gives a better seal when we're putting it back together there's your oil filter to make sure it's the same like i said before it's just these are, these are really easy to do and you just clip that in and make sure it's all sitting and bedding in there right so when it screws down it holds down and it does its job properly so the good thing about the vacuum, this, this oil extraction unit, is that you can use it to drain out all the gullies and galleys that are inside the filter because it does hold a small reservoir of oil in there. So you can just get that out at the same time. And then once you finish extracting everything, just wipe the hose off because there will be oil residue on the end and it does flick. And um, yeah, just wrap it up and put it away. You know you've got your oil there and you can pretty much tell how much oil you've taken out there, which is always good. And diesels always need fixing always need oil changing so there you go i'm just rubbing a little bit of oil on that lower seal and as you can see i'm just shimmying it in between the gaps and it gets there although it seems difficult if i can do it you can do it and hand tighten it you don't want to be using you don't want to be cross threading it with a ratchet socket like that so hand tighten it till as far as you can go and then just snug it up remember it's plastic not to overdo it because you will pay the price so here we are now just replacing the solenoid that's just located above the filter itself and get your oil, get a good specification oil. Another trick is using that measuring jug. That measuring jug just takes all of the nonsense out. You know exactly what you're putting into your car. And this particular vehicle requires four to four and a half liters of oil, but make sure to check it with your dipstick 
so you know exactly where you are because it can vary ever so slightly. But four to four and a half liters, and you should be okay. Constantly check your dipstick while you're filling it up, and remember to start it and make sure it's on a level surface, and just do all the common sense protocols to make sure your car's in the right place. But these sort of repairs are going to save you a fortune because most engine, a high percentage, I should say, of engine issues from poor maintenance, poor oil maintenance. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very easy when you've got this sort of setup. That funnel, that orange funnel is also another godsend. No mess, no burning, no smoking. So these are the little things that are going to make your life easier when it comes to maintaining your car. So just have a quick look under there and I'm going to go through it with you on the video now. So the good thing about servicing your own car is you get to A, know it's been done properly and no shortcuts have been taken and B, you get to inspect your car. What else might be wrong with it? You can see here I've got like quite a lot of oil build up around here so that's something that's going to need a bit of attention. Um, I'll take a look into that. But pretty much this car looks, looks pretty good to be fair. Um, but this is what the benefits are of changing your own car and um, you get to really see what's going on and didn't have to lay on the floor because we've got one of these pumps which are fantastic and simple things like the funnel and the measuring beaker it just stops you from having to guess what's going on there it, it, it just stops you from having to guess um, how much you put in so um, yeah this is how we're doing it it's all good all good Okay, so now we've done the oil, it's onto the air filter change, which is just, it's another super easy job. You shouldn't really be paying for it. Everyone should be able to know this. So um, these just need some screws removing. They're all Phillips head screws and they just located around the perimeter of the air filter itself. I think there's about six or seven screws. You'll work it out. You'll feel it if it doesn't feel right. But once again, another really simple, easy job that you can do in, less, in, in next to no time. So I'm using my impact socket here because... Yeah, I'm lazy. Why not? <laughs> and it's just simple. Like all these little tools, they make a job just so much easier. So it's quite dangerous, this to be fair, because it's quite powerful. So you've got to know how you're using it. Just little taps and it'll undo it. So this is what I've used to take it off these, these filter housings. This is where mechanics break things and they don't tell you. So like I said before, it's good for you to service your own vehicle so you get a good idea of what's going on. And once that's open, air filter will simply pull, simply pull out. And you can see it's a little bit dirty. It doesn't look too terrible from here. And to be honest, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's not too terrible. It looks like an original part, actually. But um, when I put it down next to the new one, you start to realise that there is a bit of a difference. So, yeah, <laughs> it's easy how these things can go amiss. But it's an easy change as well. So here we go. It's just simple, isn't it? So once you've got this part, very simple, reverse of removal, put it in, slap it on top, make sure you've got it all in the locating places and it's sealed properly. And that's it, you're, you're, you're pretty much on your way. Six screws, don't over tighten them. If you're using anything like an impact socket like mine, just tap it lightly or do it by hand, whatever suits. But you don't have to over tighten it, it's got a good, good seal on it. And um, that's pretty much it. Like I said before, these are the little things that will make your car last longer. Good blood or oil in your vehicle, in your engine, it protects your turbos, it protects your valves, it protects your, your cams, and even the oil strainer is less likely to get um, clogged up because you, you, you're regularly removing the nonsense that the oil is retaining because the real job of the oil is obviously to lubricate and to keep the contaminants away from the engine. So once you've done that, you know, look after your car and um, just put it all back together. It looks a bit dirty on here, so I might be doing a video of cleaning your engine. If you want to see that, let me know in the link in the description and I will try and do a little quick cleanup video, if that makes sense. But let me know either way. But remember to look after your car because your car needs to look after you. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more stuff like this, if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit the notification button the like button, they say smash that like now, isn't it? I'm a bit out of date, but all of that good stuff. So thank you for watching as usual. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, rate. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. <laughs> Be good guys, cheers.